Yep, Tom Connell, our Chief Election Analyst, is with us. We've been waiting for this. Tommy, go for it. Kieran, been trying to stress test this to see where we're at. So, can Labor possibly form government is the question we're asking right now. They'd need to get to at least 44 to form some form of government, and even then they might need KAP. So, they're on 37 right now. The most instructive element to look at is where are they close and where are these seats headed. So, you can see they are ahead in Pine Rivers, so maybe they can pick that up. Capalabar as well. Then you get higher up the order, it gets more difficult. They're behind in Maryborough, Rockhampton and Aspley. The other problem, the trend we've been talking about all night, is what's happening or what's going to happen when it comes to this vote. We're getting early vote numbers in now and now we can say what it's going to do. So Aspley, of course, we know this is a very close seat. You can see 50.4% at the moment towards Labor. The problem is this early vote that's coming in. So let's have a look at the pre-poll that's come in here. Returning officer Aspley, for example, uh, and this is a big whack of pre-poll, and we can see the swing is well and truly on here. This is a comparison to last time. A big swing against Labor is the problem here of 8%. The LNP doing better on this vote, this type of vote coming in so far, compared to overall vote. In other words, that improvement on pre-poll they needed to get, they are getting it. So that's Ashley. That's the first trend we're looking at right now. Then we go to Maryborough. This was the other seat we saw that it's really close for right now. So what matters from here will determine this seat. As you can see, a big swing towards the LNP. It looks very close, but we're now seeing some of this early vote coming in. Again, let's go to this pre-poll. We have got pre-poll in now from this early voting centre. It's a good sample of 2,000. When we look at how this is swinging now, look at this 17% towards the LNP. 22% against Labor. That tells you what the pre poll is going to do, and that's going to put the LNP further ahead, and then the only vote left will be sort of postal, might cancel out absent. But that will mean we'll see the LNP get ahead there as well. So then we're looking at Rockhampton as the final one when we saw on that list there. Another possibility, maybe Labor wins that and gets closer towards that 43 or 44. Again, so far we're seeing this seat very close, a swing towards the LNP, and again, Labor ahead. But so far, we've got postal votes in at Rockhampton, and we're seeing this trend again. Let's have a look at it. It's not going to work for me, of course. I knew it would do that for me. Uh, rest assured, there are postal votes in there. I'll see if there's pre-poll in as well. Here we go. We've got some early voting here to save me. Um, and when we look at this swing so far, significant to Labor and massive uh, to the LNP and massively away from Labor as well. So what this tells you is those seats... When we're looking at Labor and how could they get up towards 42, 43, 44 and form government, they're not going to be able to even in a minority because the trend is emerging already in this early vote, both pre-poll and postal, that's going to mean those seats that are very close. These cliffhangers we were talking about here, these really close seats, are going to move over towards the LNP column. We've also been saying tonight of what's going to happen in terms of majority. That's not yet a settled question. We can see right now this pendulum is shifting a bit more. That's just in the past 20 minutes as this vote's coming in. It's already shifted half a percentage point. That tells you there's still a, a, a definite chance of an LNP majority. For now, we don't know what sort of government this will be, minority or majority, but we're saying LNP will be the next government in Queensland. Tom Connell declares it. Thank you. Appreciate that, Tom. Liberal National Party has won the 2024 Queensland election.